Well, I think proper balance sheet management for us is very key. Again, preparing for our first acquisition, we know that the tough times are coming, the more challenging times are coming. So we want to be very, very thoughtful in the lenders that we associate with because, again, we know that the, the, the downturn or challenging times are coming. We're not going to over-lever right now. We're not going to underinvest in the face of that downturn or during the downturn. And our hope and expectation is that the, the lender is not going to take the last pound of flesh when it comes time for a refinancing, a modification, or some sort of restructuring. We just want to be mindful right now who we partner with and what we do in anticipation of any change in the cycle. You know, two that have stuck with me, having been a franchisor and a franchisee, and now back as a franchisor with uh, with RLHC. One is you know monitoring the debt loads uh, that we as a company maintain and as our and that our franchisees do. You know, you you hope that everyone learned the lesson from the last uh, time things were so frothy and, and people were putting in 20 percent or less uh, in equity. You, you know, that really does not give you a lot of room if there's a tick down in, in demand. So being very sensitive to how much debt we take on as an enterprise or are the, and also trying to be a mindful, good partner and coach with our franchisees about the amount of debt that they take on. The, the second part of that as it relates to uh, being sensitive is be really mindful of bringing on additional payroll. Um, Technology is allowing us to get a lot more productivity out of our employees and, and our industry hasn't always been uh, cutting edge in that, but I think we're, we're playing catch up there. That allows us to keep the head counts in a, good, in a good place, and it's always hard to back that off if you have a downturn. So not adding the not adding the head count until you really need it. I, I would say that that's really unresponsible lending. There was a lot of new money that came into the market, and uh, you know I, I come from a development background, and we hire a, a hotel expert, and we understand the markets, the demand, the competition. So. Um, you know, it's really unresponsible lending would be the real concern. Uh, yeah, just be responsible in terms of structuring your deals, limiting the amount of leverage or debt that you place on a property, and uh, not overpaying for assets.